Bundy's Garage, Bundy here. Today I'm here with my good buddy Dennis, and uh, we're gonna go over some things. This is uh, actually gonna be a, actually gonna be one long video, and I'm gonna actually splice it up into probably six or seven different videos. So you can actually, um, if you guys want, you can click in the description below, and we'll uh, there'll be a link to the full length video if you're watching just one of the one of the mini series of this. We're actually gonna go over a couple different things. Uh, Dennis is a mechanic. How long have you been a mechanic for? About 13 years. 13 year mechanic. He's a big Mazda guy. So we're gonna go over Mazdas and common common problems that he sees with those. Dennis is and always will be a Mazda tech. I just want him to touch on uh, direct injection and the carbon buildup he, see, he has seen on valves with the Mazdas. Is this pertaining to the Mazda 3s? The uh, Mazda. Actually, all the new Sky Active motors, uh, they they do have tend to have that problem that the tends to oil tends to sludge. What up is Sky the, Active? Uh, Sky Active is a Miller cycle motor. They use a um, a scavenging effect to get the EGR type um, effect to bring down knocks and emissions in the vehicle. Um, so. You know, the valves, it is direct injection, so the, the injector goes directly into the cylinder. It doesn't shoot fuel on the backside of the valves, which has be become a, a problem. I've seen multiple motors apart. Um, where two O's, two fives? Uh, yeah, both. Um, two five turbo? Uh, yeah, the two five turbo is pretty new. Uh, I haven't seen any of those apart yet. Um, and I'm not at Mazda anymore, so I probably won't. Okay. But. Um, the 2.0s, 2.5s, that's the, that's the standard motor in any of your Mazda. Um, threes, fives, or three, CX-5s, Mazda 6, um, those, and the CX-3 is a smaller motor. But um, yeah, those, uh, those guys, they tend to sl get um, sludge buildup on the back of the valves. Um, there is a bulletin to, to decarbon them. You know, you crank the motor around where the valves are closed and you let a, a chemical sit on the backside of the valves. You gotta pop the intake off. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a pain in the butt, but you know, you can prevent that by doing it, using a top engine cleaner. Um, you know, every- Like a Berryman's? I, well, I don't, I don't know all the different cleaners out there, but we run a, run a- um, A Mazda top end, a top engine cleaner? It's a granitized top end cleaner. So, you know, you just run it into the vacuum port on your intake and, and just run the car, idle the car for 15 minutes and turn it off, let it sit 15 minutes and then, uh, then drive the car. You drive it pretty hard, blow out all that, all that soot and everything. It, it helps. Would there be a way to do it preventively like every other oil change? I I would say probably every uh, ten thousand miles. Uh, I've seen motors as as um, new as like fifteen thousand miles. And you can so pick this up from um, up. from Mazda. No, not you probably wouldn't get it from Mazda. You would you call it a granulized? Uh, granite granitized is just the the company that we get our stuff from. But it, I, I would recommend having it done. I, I wouldn't recommend you doing it yourself. It's not a not a. Uh, maybe we'll do a video on it. Show you. Yeah, you want to do a video on it? Yeah, maybe we can. We need uh, to find a car. I, I have a Mazda three, so we can probably use it. You think there's carbon in that thing? I have thirty-four thousand miles on it. So. We could just show them how to do it. Yeah, yeah, it's a pretty easy procedure, but I, I wouldn't recommend trying to do it yourself unless you, you know what you're doing. You know, you can pull the. Well, most of the guys that are watching this is the, they're DIYers. They want to be able to do it themselves. Save save yourself some money. I I hate it. I loathe having to pay somebody to work on my vehicles, I absolutely hate it. I don't know, for whatever reason, it was instilled in me as a kid, I don't know, maybe it fell out of my crib or something, but it bugs the crap out of me, dude, to have to pay somebody to do work for my car. Because I always feel like they didn't do it right, and and I know there's stuff I can't do, but back in my mind, I'm always like, they didn't do it right, or they're screwing me somehow, dude. I don't know. That's what I always think. Yeah, and that's why it's important to find a, find a tech you trust. You know, somebody that you know is gonna shoot straight with you. Um, and once you find that guy, you know, trust him. Keep an eye out. We'll, uh, soon, he's going to launch his channel as well pretty soon. And as soon as he does, I'll bring him back on here. Uh, we'll do a shout out to him. He's come over to help me, help me with stuff in my garage. And uh, we'll probably do a video on his Mazda as well for, this, uh, for the carbon on the backside of the valves. But uh, is there any uh, parting words you want to tell our viewers at Bundy's Garage? Anything at all? Nah. No, got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Dennis. I appreciate it. Appreciate your time. Um, 
Questions, comments, concerns, you can always reach out to me at bunniesgarage at gmail.com. You can follow me on Twitter at Bunny's Garage. You can also follow me on Facebook. Uh, I wish I had made it to SEMA, but I didn't this year. Guys, take care. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you can, and uh, keep your eye out for more videos.